So I need you guys to give the last ounce of energy you have for our final storyteller until he gets to the stage as if the Cubs are going to win the World Series for Ernie Banks. Start clapping for Nestor Gomez right now. Nestor Gomez. There he is. Get on up here. Give it Nestor Gomez, everybody. I was about 14 years old when I fell in love for the first time. I fell in love with a girl from my high school, and I followed her on her way home from school many times. <laughs> Twice, I almost spoke to her. <laughs> the reason why I couldn't talk to her is because back then, I was really, really shy. And I was really shy because I had this little problem. I used to stutter badly. I used to stutter so bad that sometimes I would make funny faces and noises when I tried to speak. Sometimes I would stutter so badly that I would close my eyes and try to talk. And when I finally got the words out of my mouth, the people I was talking to were gone. So I didn't want to make a fool out of myself with this girl. But as much as I knew that I couldn't talk, I also knew that I could write. So I decided to write a love letters to this girl. Her beautiful, long black hair was as beautiful as the night sky. Her eyes, the stars. The moon, the moon was nothing compared to her mouth. And I wrote all these feelings for her on this love letter. But I decided that I was going to give the love letter to her the next day after school. So I put the love letter in my book bag. But somehow that afternoon, the love letter ended in my sister's hands. <laughs> now, my sister was not that kind of girl that took kindly to a love letter. She told me that a love letter was a thing of cowards that I needed to express my love to this girl. And as much as I tried to get the love letter back from her, I just couldn't. Later that afternoon, I found the envelope in which I had placed the love letter on top of the bed that I shared with my brothers. So I ran and I grabbed the envelope. I opened it, but the love letter was not there. In its place was a note from my sister that read, tonight you have a date with the girl of your dreams. Turns out that, my, turns out that my, my girl that I had a crush on had a cousin who had a crush on my sister. <laughs> and my sister had agreed to go on a date with this guy as long as he brought the girl of my dreams along for a double date. <laughs> that was sister support, right? <laughs> so that's how I found myself that night sitting on a park bench inches away from the girl of my dreams, and a few feet away from my sister and her dad that was sitting on another bench. <laughs> because of the proximity, I could hear everything that the guy was asking my sister. So what's your favorite color? <laughs> and what kind of movies do you like? And what do you want to be when you grow up? And every time the guy asked something, I kept telling myself, that's a good question to ask my dad. <laughs> but every time that I did try to ask this girl something, I just, I just couldn't, because I would stutter. So finally, after many times that I tried to talk, I finally was able to tell this girl how I felt about her. But her reaction was not what I expected. She got up. And she told me that she had only gone out, go, out, go out on a date with me because her cousin had begged her to. And she told me that she didn't even la -la 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 like me. Yep, that's right. She made fun of my story. So I just sat there, hurt, crushed. I didn't know what to say. Of course, I couldn't say anything. And I didn't know what to do. I just sat there. 
until my sister grabbed my wrist and pulled me away from her. But before we left, she turned around and she gave the girl of my dream a piece of her mind. <laughs> now, at that age, I didn't know what love was really all about. I just knew that I really liked this girl and I wanted her to like me. I just wanted to feel love. I just wanted somebody to love me. As we walked away, I was feeling so sad and depressed. And I guess that my sister knew how I was feeling because she stopped me. She grabbed me by the shoulders and looking at me in the eyes, she said, you are a very bright young man. That girl made fun of you started and you deserve way better than that. I looked at my sister and she was looking at me in such a loving way that I realized I already have somebody who loves me. Thank you.